Hello, I'm Gordon Richard with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. This segment is on setting up the AKD units for a belt and gear belt system. Because of their similarities, we're doing the two mechanisms together. The main difference between the belt and gear belt is the type of belt used on the machine. The belt system is used for V-belts such as standard V-belt, cogged V-belt, and ribbed V-belt. If there is a gear ratio, the system is set up as you would any other gear ratio. No gear ratio is set to none. For a gear head or gear box, set the number of turns the motor will make in relationship to the output shaft. For a 10 to 1 ratio, we would set this as motor 10, load 1. With a pulley and belt ratio, set the number of teeth on the motor pinion and the number of teeth on the load pinion. Still using 10 to 1 ratio, we could enter 10 for the motor and for the load 100 or any combination that would give us 10 to 1. The relationship between the motor and load is set using diameter 1 for the motor and diameter 2 for the load. The setup screen for the gear belt looks very similar to the belt system. Gear belts include timing belts and sprockets and chains. The gear ratio is set up the same as a belt system. In place of the diameters, we find teeth. The motor pinion is entered in teeth 1 and the load pinion is entered in teeth 2. Both the belt and gear belt are rotary mechanisms, so their position can be set up in custom mechanics dependent for either radians or degrees. And when setting up a motion task, we'll reflect the same. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. Thanks for joining me. Check out other segments or sign up for a class. I'll see you next time.